Opposition says former minister Katrina Hodgkinson must explain why plan was changed. The Greens have moved to block an amendment to the Northern Basin plan that includes the Barwin Darling. Photograph, Dean Lewins, AAP The former New South Wales Primary Industries Minister Katrina Hodgkinson should answer questions about her role in formulating the controversial Barwin Darling Water Sharing Plan, Labour's NSW Water Spokesman, Chris Minns, has said. It's time for the former minister to front up and answer questions, he said. Why were the water sharing plans altered? Did she accept submissions from powerful irrigator lobbyists after public consultation had finished? And did these same cotton irrigators receive 32% more water while she was water minister? The Guardian revealed on Thursday that a key irrigation lobbyist representing large irrigators around Bork, Ian Cole, continued to lobby the minister after the public consultations on the plan had closed and that further changes were made by the minister to make the plan more favourable to irrigators. Meanwhile, in Canberra, the move by the Greens to block an amendment to the Northern Basin plan that includes the Barwin Darling, has prompted a warning from the Water Minister, David Little Proud, that the, the entire Murray-Darling Basin plan could unravel. Susan Lee, the Liberal member for Farrah, which covers the Murrumbidgee and Murray Valleys, said in Parliament she was prepared to encourage NSW and Victoria to leave the plan if her community was forced to make more water savings. Labour appears willing to horse trade on the 70 gigalitre cut to the Northern Basin plan for more solid commitments from the Turnbull government on the Southern Basin. Labour's water spokesman, Tony Burke, is trying to obtain written and legislative commitments from the government on proposals to increase flows to the Southern Basin, which include an additional 450 gigalitres of down water for South Australia by 2024. Katrina Hodgkinson altered a water-sharing plan for the Barwin Darling even though public consultations on the draft plan had ended. Photograph, Caroline McCready, Getty Images Labour wants the 450 gigalitres linked in legislation to a plan to deliver 605 gigalitres of upwater through efficiency projects to be funded by the Commonwealth. These include farm projects to make more efficient use of water. In a letter, Burke says if the water savings don't materialize Labour wants a written commitment that the Commonwealth would take responsibility to deliver the 450 gigalitres. With the South Australian election campaign in full swing and a by-election in the federal seat of Batman in Melbourne on 17 March, a win on water policy would be a big boost to Labour. Labour faces a tough challenge from the Greens in Batman and polls have indicated that Labour is behind in South Australia, though the intervention of Nick Xenophon's SA Best Party makes the outcome more difficult to predict. In return, Labour is offering to delay the disallowance vote in the Northern Basin on the 70 gigalitres cut. The Murray-Darling Basin Authority issued another defence of its plan to cut the target for environmental water recovery by 70 gigalitres or 18%, saying it was based on sound science, and disputed the findings of the Australia Institute. Water policy has become highly contentious once again. The government is attempting to legislate changes to the plan, which are backed by the Murray-Darling Basin Authority, but environmentalists and scientists say the current plan is already compromised by the way the states have implemented it and that it is failing. The large number of documents obtained by The Guardian detail the bureaucratic processes informing the controversial Barwin-Darling plan and raise questions about the fairness of the process. A draft letter to Cole to be sent from Hodgkinson acknowledges that late changes were made in 2012. Following consideration of a number of WSP matters raised with me, I requested the Office of Water to make several amendments which, I believe, now present a fair and equitable outcome for all. Hodgkinson announced her resignation from Parliament within days of a Four Corners programme going to air in July last year. The programme detailed allegations of water theft in the Barwin Darling and a lack of action by NSW bureaucrats. The formulation of the plan and the handling of water theft allegations by NSW are now under investigation by the NSW Independent Commission Against Corruption.